trying a new thing here where I'm kind of on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. So excuse me if I don't look directly at you. Okay. Hi, friends. Who's here today? A very exciting um, lesson planned out for you today. We are going to be making our very own instrument again today. So if you want to do it with me um, and you don't have your materials ready, uh, go, you can go and get them while we do our mindful moment, okay? Remember, we always start our classes with a mindful moment. Um, you will need two popsicle sticks, and you will need a straw, and you will need a rubber band. Where's my rubber band? My rubber band? Okay, some scissors and tape, okay? So um, if you don't have those things, you can go get them now. Or you can just watch and we can you can do it later. Okay? So how are we all doing today? Who's here today? Jason says hi. Hi Jason. Hi Laura. Hi Vivian. Hi friends. Hi Stephanie. Hi everybody. My name is Ashley Mills Monahan, but my friends at school call me teacher Ashley. Hi friends from school. I miss you so much. Hi friends. Okay, let's begin with our mindful moment, okay? I just made this up this morning because um, I knew we were going to be playing with rubber bands today. So I thought, hmm, let's do rubber band breath, okay? You can see here my rubber band. He stretches, doesn't he? So we're going to stretch our breath, okay? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take a breath in through our nose, just a little breath, and then hold it, okay? And then I want you to take another breath on top of that breath and hold it. And then take another breath on top of that breath. And take another little sip of breath and then let it all out and let it retract to its original form, just like the rubber band. Okay, so you ready to stretch your breath with me? Here we go. We're going to take a, a little small breath through our nose and hold it. And then again, and then again, and then take a little, little sip of breath on top and then let it all go. Do it one more time. Are you ready? Hi, ja Jackson. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Lion. Hi, KP. Okay, you ready? We're going to take a nice short breath in. And then again. And then again. Take another little sip of breath. And let it all go. <sighs> that was good. All right, friends. So yesterday, we learned all about woodwind instruments, didn't we? Anyone remember a woodwind instrument that we talked about? Hmm, can you name a woodwind instrument? 
Do you remember that clarinet or the saxophone or the piccolo or the flute? What about the oboe? Do you remember? And the biggest one of all, the bassoon. Do you remember this? Yeah, well today we're gonna make our very own harmonica out of those popsicle sticks that I was telling you about. Ah! Here's my harmonica. We're gonna make our very own harmonica using our popsicle sticks. I know it doesn't sound quite the same as a real harmonica, but I wanted to show you this because it kind of demonstrates how a reed works in some of these instruments, okay? Remember what I told you? Some of these instruments um, have what's called a reed, and that's that wooden piece there at the mouthpiece there, okay? And that's what makes the sound. So I'm gonna start by taking my straw and I've got my popsicle sticks here, okay? And I'm actually, I'm gonna cut the straw so that it's about the width of the um, popsicle stick, okay? So you might need your mommies or your daddies to help you with this part, okay? All right, so I've got my, I've got one for one end, so I'm gonna need two of them and two okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my rubber band and i'm going to go the long way across the popsicle stick okay just like that you see that see okay then i'm gonna tuck in my little pieces of straw that i just cut out and I'm gonna stick it underneath the underneath the, the rubber band. So it's kind of tucked in there. You see how it's tucked in there? Do you see that? Okay. Do you see that? Can you see that? Okay. And then it's so like I have the other one on the other side. Okay, so it's just like that. Do you see? Then I'm gonna take my other popsicle stick and I'm gonna make it like a sandwich. Now, if you can hold the ends together. <laughs> You can play it like that, just like that. Um, I taped the ends of mine, so you can take a little bit of tape and just kind of just make sure that you don't um, seal it completely because it needs that space to go through. And then another cool little trick is if you move your straws pieces in a little bit, you can actually change the pitch. So it's higher. Isn't that cool? So, you can see when I blow into the harmonica, <laughs> the rubber band vibrates against the popsicle stick. And that's sort of how the reed works in some of these instruments, like the clarinet and the oboe and the bassoon and the saxophone. These are all instruments that are reed instruments. They have the, the reed inside of them. In reed instruments, the sounds or the vibrations are made when the air travels across that thin piece of wood. That's what this looks like, okay? And that's called the reed. And the reed, the reed vibrates, making the sound. Some instruments have one reed, like the clarinet and the saxophone. Other instruments use two reeds to vibrate against each other, like the oboe and the bassoon. Pretty cool, right? So you can go make your own harmonica. Now, how does a flute work, you might ask? Because a flute doesn't have a reed. And yet it is a woodwind instrument, isn't it? Hmm, wow, to demonstrate how a flute works, I have some bottles here. Okay, you can do this uh, too at home. Just make sure you wash them out um, before you use them, okay? So let's look at the science behind how a flute works, shall we? Because the flute or the piccolo they don't have a reed, right? But when you blow across the mouthpiece, <laughs> sound is produced <laughs> by blowing onto that sharp edge, causing the air enclosed 
in a tube to vibrate. So you can see my picture of my flute. You can imagine that the, the body of the instrument, that's the tube, okay? And then the mouthpiece, it's a close-up of what the mouthpiece looks like. You see? There's the mouthpiece. And you see? There's the mouthpiece, okay? So we're going to kind of um, <laughs> use our bottles to kind of show you how a flute sort of works. Look. <laughs> Um, but I have three bottles here. What do you suppose is going to happen when we fill them up with water? Hmm. I have some, I have an, uh, another bottle. This is empty. Okay. Mm -hmm. I blown it there. And I have a bottle here that has a little bit of water in it. Can you see the water? Mm -hmm. Wow. That makes a higher sound. Mm -hmm. Why does the sound get higher when we fill the water up? When in the glass jar experiment, remember the glass jar we did last week when we tapped on the sides of the jar and the more water we put in there, the lower the sound got? How come when we fill up the water here, it's higher? <laughs> this is because the air is going across the top of the lid. It's not going through the water. Does that make sense? So there's less space on the inside, so the sound wave is actually moving faster. Kind of like how I showed you with the string. The shorter the string, the higher the sound. The longer the string, the lower the sound because the slower of the vibrations had a lot, a lot of space to go across, didn't it? So the empty bottle allows for more space to vibrate, meaning it has more space for the sound wave to vibrate, right? So it's moving slower, slower lower. You can fill them up and experiment with different levels of water. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So now I want to see your musical instruments that you're going to make, okay? I want you to go and make them. Have your parents post them or message me. I want to see them. I had so much fun seeing all your instruments that we made last week. Um, so go and make your instruments and have fun with them. But before we go, I have a very, very exciting, seriously amazing guest in line for Fun Friday, okay? And tomorrow we're going to be singing her songs and we're going to be making a very special craft prop that we'll use for her guest performance, okay? I'm very excited about this. This is um, Susie Shelton. She is an amazing, award-winning um, children's artist. Um, I use her music in my, in my class all the time. She has live shows every day on Facebook Live at 1 p.m. You can get, that's uh, my time, Pacific time. Um, you can get her music anywhere. Just tell Alexa to play Susie Shelton. Um, my class, like I said, listens to the CD all the time. And uh, I saw her perform last summer with my kids at a PBS show um, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And I'm just so excited to meet and greet her again with all of you. So if you have any questions or anything, um, we can ask her and she's going to be right here with us. So um, I, I'm just, I'm so excited. Um, stay tuned and come back tomorrow for some serious fun. And we'll have fun making your instruments today, okay? Here we go. It's time to say goodbye. It's been a good time. It's been a good time with you. It's been a good time. It's been a good time with you. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's true. It's been a good time. I like spending this time with you. It's been a good time. I like spending my time with you. Bye, friends. See you tomorrow.